It is post June 1st, ladies and gentlemen. It is post June 1st. In this video, now that we are in June 3rd of 2022, there are three free agents that the Raiders should go out and get after post June 1st cuts. Now let's get into this video and let's talk about these three. So play that intro. What is going on, Raider Nation? What is going on? It is your boy, Darian, coming to you live with another video. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. And this is your first time ever being at our YouTube page. We highly suggest and recommend that you subscribe and hit the bell button and get the latest news and all Raiders news. But we're back here with another Raiders video. In this video, we're going to be talking about three free agents that the Raiders should get since June 1st has passed. Now, the Raiders do have $20 million in cap space, and any free agent should be considered bringing in. We can definitely talk about it here on the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Now, I did do the 10 free agents that we should get before June 1st, but now since June 1st has passed, we are in June 3rd, which is today. We don't know what the Raiders are going to do with this $20 million in cap space. Will they try to do something with Darren Waller or they try to do something with Renfro or something of that nature. We just don't know what they're going to do with the $20 million, but I think they should go out on a free agency and try to build on this football team as much as possible. So here are the three free agents that the Raiders should go out and target and go out and get post June 1st. So let's get into the video right now. But before we do that, Shout out to Just Vlog Baby for the article. Shout out to everybody that writes over there on Raider Ramble and on Raiders Wire as well. Shout out to those three, the, uh, three articles. Links will definitely be in the description. So let's get into it. Who's the first person that the Raiders should go and get? Now, who the Raiders should, should go out and get in these top three post June 1st? And the first one I really got on my list is former Cleveland Browns office alignment, J.C. Tretter. Let me start by saying this. The Raiders came into free agency with the offensive line being the team's weakest unit and haven't bought many outside players to fix things. Being the case, there will be many available offensive linemen in free agency who Las Vegas could benefit from. To keep things diverse, though, I'm only going with one on this short list. If you ask the Raider Nation which free agent offensive lineman fits the best for the Raiders, most will likely say Daryl Williams. While I'll agree that Williams is both a good fit and player, but my answer will be J.C. Tretter. Even considering Williams' right tackle position struggles more than the center's position last season. I'll dive into my thought in the process in a little bit. I'll start by saying the distinction of J.C. Tretter and Dale Williams on the Raiders offensive line is 100% depending on Alex Leatherwood lines up this upcoming season. If you believe that he'll play guard, then Williams will probably be your guy. If you like me and expect Leatherwood to return to the right tackle position, Treader would be the choice in the OTAs Leatherwood continue to play at right tackle. Last season, the former Brown center scored the highest grade of his career, earning a mark of a 78.7 with just one sack allowed. There have been only two times in his career where a fourth round pick has allowed more than one sack in a season, totaling only two of each of those occasions in 2018 and 2016. A player of Treader's caliber is rare and one team is going to be very lucky. However, he isn't the only great player who is still available. And the next player the Raiders should definitely go after in this post-June free agency is former Cincinnati Bengals Trey Wayne. If you're looking to find a Dominican suit on this short list of free agents that would benefit from signing, you're not going to find it. The reason is simply due to me writing about the Dominican Sioux's potential and the impact with the Raiders earlier in the same week. For similar reasons as the Dominican Sioux, I thought about it including Wayne's as touch as his fit with the silver and black last week. However, at the end of the day, I like Wayne's and the Raiders more than I like any other remaining defensive free agent and the Raiders. If you're wondering why you haven't heard much about Wayne's these days, it's due to the disappointing stint with the Cincinnati Bengals. After the 2019 season, it came to an end. The former Vikings corner entered a free agency, ultimately signing a massive deal with $3 million, $42 million with Cincinnati. From there, it was miserable. Waynes didn't play poorly 
It was just the lack of their of availability that made his stint a disaster. In the first two years of his contract, the veteran corner appeared in only five games, leading to his release in the offseason. You might be thinking, why would I want him on my team after knowing all this availability concerns? There's a few reasons that you can't embrace Waynes to Vegas. He was consistently available before the last two years from 14 to 19, and Wayne had played at least 14 games in each of his first five NFL seasons. Wayne's is an exit prior to his stint, and contract that he earned with Cincinnati wasn't for no reason. For all of this may not be enough to convince you, but Wayne's isn't at risk. And it shouldn't convince you otherwise because of his certainty or one after two seasons spent with nursing injuries. He is the best part though. Signing Wayne's will be a win-lose situation and let me explain. If the Raiders sign Wayne's from his return to form and they get a great player, the positive in this scenario is obvious. If he continues to suffer from injuries, then Las Vegas loses nothing. As it is, not only that we both have Rock Yassin and Trayvon Mullen viable to the outside corners, but also Anthony at rep, so there's no risk in bringing Wayne's in due to the fact that his talent would be a bonus, not something that the team is relying on. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the third person that the Raiders should go after, and I think this is the most obvious one, that we have here and that is wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Perhaps me listing Odell Beckham Jr. on this list is mostly out of greed but it isn't worth the merit. One thing I've spent most time talking about this offseason was the lack of outright speed at the wide receiver position for the Las Vegas Raiders. I feel that it is a broken record at times but I'll fall back on what continuously states Averaging a 40 time for an NFL wide receiver is a 4.49. And the Raiders have one player in position who eclipsed that, and that is Tyron Johnson, who was at the bottom of the depth chart. At his combine, Odell Beckham Jr. did run a 4.43, and this gives the Raiders true speed on the outside. Of course, Odell Beckham is coming off a serious injury, meaning that he'll have time before he's around full strength. In fact, the reports suggest that the Super Bowl receiver from one season ago won't be ready to play once the upcoming season begins. Luckily for the Raiders, that's not a problem. To go back to the opening statements made here, the Raiders supporting cast is better than it's ever been under card in this era, even without Odell Beckham Jr. This means that there's no rush for a return and allowing a full recovery before what could be an absolute offensive onslaught begins. We can assume Odell Beckham Jr. will be integrated down the stretch, allowing everyone to mesh and win the race for the postseason heats up. As we all should know, Odell Beckham is more than speed. He's a versatile receiver who has excellent awareness and athleticism to go up and grab passes that may or may not be perfectly thrown. This is no jab at Carr, who was recently named the top 10 deep ball quarterback, according to NFL Network, ahead of the Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, for Devontae Adams will sink in for the for Rodgers to car crowd. If everything goes as planned, the Las Vegas Raiders will be a dominant offensively with the addition of Odell Beckham Jr. That they will simply overpower team and defense defense wins championships, and the Raiders defense is certainly good enough to make plays happen already. And now adding Odell Beckham Jr. to the offense, perhaps even Treader, as we talked about earlier, is extremely difficult to be best. Okay. So, I like the Odell Beckham situation. I like the J.C. Trader situation. But the Trey Waynes, I'm not really too big on to go out and get. I think it's still some other players out there that you can go out and get outside of Trey Waynes. Even though that he didn't play well in Minnesota due to lack of injuries. And he, um, and he had to sign a big contract in Cincinnati and it didn't work out there. But, I mean, it's, 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 a low, it's, a, it's not really a low risk, high reward. It's just a... It's not no win-lose situation. If he's hurt, he's hurt. If it doesn't hurt us anyway, even though we got Rocky Asin over there and everything of that nature. So with me, I like the Odell Beckham Jr. and I like the JC Treader when it comes to these three free agents. Trey Wayne, you can put in for a Dominican Sue or uh a Eddie Goldman or something of that nature. You can still go out and get or a Kevin King or something of that nature that you could go out and get within this 20 million dollar cat space so there's so many ways that you could go and switch out trade ways with so many different people on this list let me know what you think Raider nation let me know what you think put your comments in the comments below according to just blogbaby.com these are the three players that the raiders should go out and get post june 1st i like the odell beckham i like the jc trader but trade Wayne's we can flip out let me know what you think 
put your comments in the comments below if you like the video like the video if you want to subscribe to the video subscribe to the channel for more latest news and i'll see you on the next live stream or in the next video peace